Hi everyone, it's me. It's Hannah from the Instagram My Skincare Regime. It's very nice to meet you all. I am doing a face reveal on YouTube and a Q&A. I'm a bit nervous because I don't know um, if you can hear me, but hopefully the microphone is picking up my voice. I'm actually on holiday at the moment currently, so the situation is a little bit, I don't know what to say, temperamental. Uh, so apologies if this is not gonna go the way I want it to go, but I'm hoping I can just get this video out there, have the face reveal done so I can make content with my face. For those who don't know about me, I just wanted to make this, basically it's like a channel intro and a bit of a Q&A in terms of skincare related things and do a bit of like a personal Q&A, just so you guys get to have a little bit of a sense of me. First of all, I'm Hannah, I live in the UK. I started my social media skincare journey on Instagram first, it was just as a hobby because I was living in South Korea, so I got really into skincare because of K-beauty. I kind of just wanted to showcase you guys what skincare products I was using you guys seem to enjoy that and I kept getting questions about reviews like my experience with products certain products so I thought okay why not start a blog so that I can kind of catalog all my reviews in one place so that's how the blog started and I post all my skincare like in-depth skincare reviews on the blog so then I started a YouTube channel basically because I wanted to just make videos and kind of show you live skincare swatching I do the majority of my live skincare swatches on my YouTube so that you guys can get a sense of like the texture of products and just what they look like on camera because I think it's slightly different in pictures. I just wanted to make it a bit more personable. I wanted to show you guys my skincare routine, AM, PM routine, what products I'm liking and not liking, first impressions, etc. And I've actually also opened a TikTok if you guys want to follow me on there and I'll be showing my face on there like showing how I apply products and things like that. That shows just a mini summary of my social media journey. So let's move on to the Q&A. It'll just be like a brief Q&A, some skincare questions and then some personal questions. So question one, how do you determine if a skincare product will be suitable for you? What I do is I first check the ingredients. You can kind of tell in the first five ingredients if something's going to be more oily or more watery. I personally prefer what goes with my skin type is more water-based products, light products. So I look for water, glycerin. I don't mind silicones, it's just silicones sometimes have layering issues. So, and then step two is I look at swatches. So I look at people swatching the products and pictures. That's why I try and post my reviews on the blog so you guys can see. My main goal with the blog and even with the Instagram is kind of showing you guys products and showing you textures and swatches so that you guys yourself, you know your skin type the best so you can determine what product will suit you the most, what, what goes with your skin type the most because you know your skin best and everyone is different, has different lifestyles, live in different weathers. My goal is literally just to show you the ins and outs of a product so you can decide and determine whether you want to purchase it or not. So that's what I do. And then the third way is basically if I can try and swatch the product myself, I'll actually try and go and swatch, see what the product texture is like. I mean, a recent example is I went to go try the Drunk Elephant Sea Firma eye cream and actually I found out that while swatching it I think it might be a bit too thick for my skin so I'm kind of now a bit mm, about trying it or not so that kind of shows you though how important a swatch is because sometimes you can get it totally wrong from just looking at the ingredients alone what I do after that, determining for my skin type, if a product's gonna be suitable for me. Sometimes you just have to bite the bullet and buy the product. Always try and get smaller sizes or samples first. Three days of using this product, are you gonna keep using it or is it just too thick for you? So that's why I always recommend sample sizes or smaller sizes first, particularly if you want to buy expensive skincare products. If you want me to go more in depth about that, I can do a blog post or a YouTube video, kind of how do you find out products for your skin type. If you guys want. And then question two, how long do you try a skincare product to see if it's working for your skin and your skin type? I can tell if a product's giving me a bad reaction, probably in the first use, because usually I'll apply something new in the PM and then sleep and then you wake up and then you have red skin or irritated skin, pimples, etc. I'll just immediately stop using that product. 
In terms of will this product suit my skin type, it takes me three goes applying the product and then I can tell whether I'm genuinely going to keep using this product and enjoy the feel of it or if it's just not going to work for me. So question three, if you've ever had a reaction to any skincare such as itchiness or redness, stinging, breakout, what do you usually do? So do you like stay off of skincare, etc.? So for me personally, once again, this is a really good question and it could literally have its own video, but I'll try to keep it really succinct for you guys. If my skin is in a bad, angry condition, then I will basically stop using most of my skincare. I will stop actives, acids, exfoliating products, just stop using them if the skin barrier is damaged and irritated because those things are just gonna make it worse. So what I will basically do is strip down my routine into like very skincare products that are aimed solely for irritated sensitive skins. So aloe vera based gels, moisturizing creams that contain squalane. I try to avoid anything containing hyaluronic acid or niacinamide, things like that. Uh, um, just because they can sting if the skin is already sensitized. So I aim for hydration and moisture. I also go for ceramides and just really try to rebuild that moisture barrier. And it usually doesn't take that long. It usually takes, I'd say, a day or two to fix my skin because I kind of immediately stop the moment my skin is irritated. And usually that does the trick. So really good products I love for really irritated, stingy, sensitized skin. I have these favorite products, these holy grail products that all on my blog on the favorites category. You can see it all there. And that is the Skin 1004 Centella Ample, because that's just plain sicker. And SVR Aloe Sensophene Gel, that's excellent. And the Geek and Gorgeous Stress Less Serum, that's really good as well. I'm sure I have some more products on the blog if you wanna check it out on the blog. Basically, I try to go for products that have minimalistic ingredients and not many actives. So here's another question. What are my holy grail first and second cleansers? My skin doesn't like cleansing too much. I remember I've kind of got this light bulb moment after watching Leah Yu. I'm sure you know who Leah Yu is. Even she doesn't cleanse the skin that much just because I find it quite irritating. But I definitely have some favorite first and second cleansers. My favorite like oil cleansers, makeup removers, I would say is the Hylamide High Efficiency Face Cleaner. I think that's what it's called. I'm really sorry, Desium, they name their products really weirdly, but that's amazing. And that's on the blog as well, as well as the Juno cleansing balm. I think that's great. Yes, I have a discount code for it, but I have it because I like it. Otherwise, I would have thrown it away a long time ago, but I just keep bringing it up. Best cleansing balm for me right now. I do want to try some more. So that's my favorite first cleansers. And then second cleanser, I think the Geek and Gorgeous Jelly Joker is really good. It's fragrance and essential oil free and just it's quite gentle and it's a gel cleanser. I think an even more gentle cleanser I really liked is the Laneige Milk and Oil or Oil, Oil and Milk or Milk and Oil Cream Cleanser. It's a liquid cleanser, but it's like creamy. It looks like milk. Really nice. I have a video swatching that and it's lovely. Put the link somewhere, but very, very gentle. So most skin types I don't think will like it unless you're like really sensitive. And the next question is, what's my favorite healthy recipe? I really like making a vegetable stir fry. So I just use reduced salt stock, plain peanut butter. So nothing's been added to it and reduced salt soy sauce. And then I just cook that with some onions, broccoli, bean sprouts, whatever else I have, whatever vegetables. Mix that in with whole grain spaghetti then you've got yourself a lovely hearty meal. I like to sprinkle some sesame seeds on top too. Another question, do I have any pets? No, um, I did have cats when I was younger and they were lovely. If I had to get a dog right now, I'd get a dachshund, but I'm not sure if it's morally right to have a dachshund. I'm not sure about that. So if I shouldn't get that, I would get a black Scottish terrier. Definitely inspired by Lady and the Tramp, but absolutely love Jacques. I think he's adorable, so I'd get that. Because I think those dogs look like the end of a broomstick. Don't they look like the end of a broomstick? Like just sweeping along the floor. It's just so cute. If I had to have like a mythical pet that doesn't exist, I'd have Pegasus from Hercules. It's my favorite horse in the whole world. I'd, I'd love to own Pegasus. If I could have like really weird zany pets, then I'd have an owl. I really want an owl with like the eyebrows, like the bushy eyebrows that come out and a penguin, an American bald eagle, a falcon and a puffin. I just really think they're really cute. They're so cute. If I could have a pterodactyl, I would as well, but 
they're extinct. Next question. What are your hobbies other than skincare? I have quite a few hobbies. I'm actually someone that really likes to dip my toe into a lot of things, but I really enjoy exercise, but I have a feeling that that doesn't count as a hobby because that's just like a way of life. But I like lifting like heavy weights. That's fun for me. It's a stress reliever. Basically, I think I'd say K-pop is probably a hobby. Is it a hobby? It's music. It's a genre of music I really like. So maybe I should say my hobby is I like listening to music when I work out. And the music that I listen to is mainly k-pop i also had at school a friend a korean friend who was really into big bang so she showed me some big bang songs and i got really into them love g dragon top etc i think k-pop is so wonderful and i got into exo and at the same time i enjoyed a group just a small group i don't know if you've heard of them when they debuted um they're called they're called bts um I don't know, have they disbanded? I'm not sure. I'm now currently really into NCT, but I just really enjoy K-pop. If you guys let me know down below, if you listen to K-pop, who you like, etc. I could talk about K-pop forever because I'm just also really into the business of K-pop. I really like the behind the scenes, how it works, how these companies manage their idols. I just think that that's really interesting. I love the behind the scenes, like learning the choreography, the dance practices, recording the vocals. They're just, it's so fun. I'll just keep those hobbies as my only two at the moment, but I have a lot more. So yeah, there you go, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. I hope I get more used to the camera. I'm sorry, I'm trying to look at the point right there. I just keep looking to make sure I'm in frame. I am in frame. If you don't follow me on Instagram already, then please do. Check out the blog if you want any in-depth skincare reviews. I have a favorites category on the blog, so you can check out all my favorite items of this year. Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video, if you have any more questions for me, what kind of videos you'd like me to make. If if you agreed with anything I said or disagreed, well, no, just keep to the agreed. Let's keep this a positive space. Follow me on TikTok. I'm hoping to make a lot more content, a sort of a lot more face swatches and showing you guys my first impressions or reviews of items. Hopefully it'll be really fun for you guys to watch and let's get to know each other. And if you like this video, then please give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe today for future content. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.